Hi, and today I want to introduce a very interesting application of the Kaiji algebra, which you have seen before. Um, okay, so I, I just make up some story, okay? Uh, let's say there's a small island near Guam, and on that island, people can multiply only up to five. Okay? But so how do they multiply the numbers more than five? Uh, for example, uh, let's say eight times six. Okay? Uh, so here's what they do. So, so first, you just put these fingers okay, and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, I count one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, look at these fingers. So how many fingers are standing now? Four fingers, okay? Now, how many fingers are sleeping here? Two, two and four. four. How much is two times four? Eight. Eight. Four fingers standing, and two times four, which is eight. Yeah. Okay. So that's how they compute. Do you think it's coincidence? So let's try one more. Okay. How about that one? Okay. So let's try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many fingers are standing together? Six. Six. And then the rest, three times one, which is three. three. So it's sixty-three. Okay. Any question? Well, again, so you should ask me a question, right? So this is, I showed you how to do that. But now the biggest question is why, so why this works you know, all the time, right? So before I answer your question, so, so let me just give you another example which is similar to that, okay? Again, uh, 97 times 88, well, you can still do it, but uh, so here's another way to compute the, the new method. So you just pay attention. These two numbers are very close to 100. So how much more? Okay. In other words, so how much is 100 minus 97? You need three more okay, to get 100. And similarly, for the 88, 100 minus 88 is 12. So you need 12 more okay, to get 100. Then, you can add together here. Okay? So 3 plus 12, which is 15. Now, 100 minus 15, which is 85. On the other hand, if you multiply these 3 and 12 together, 3 times 12, you get 36. And that's the answer here. So again, um, why does this new method work. Okay. So there's something common okay, between these two. And then the key is the FOIL, which we studied previously. So, so let's see how uh, FOIL is related to this. Okay. What I did here is, so I just computed 100 minus no, 97. Okay. 100 minus 88. So I can build these two to be 
100 minus 3, 100 minus 12, right? Then, now I apply FOIL to this. So, I have 100 squared. And then, uh, can I now just do the shortcut? I combine, um, well, maybe let me just do that. The 100 times 12 minus 3 times 100 plus 3 times 12 by applying FOIL to this. Then, I can now factor, okay? So these three by 100. So I have 100 minus 12 minus three plus three times 12. And then, uh, this is 100 minus 15, uh, which, which I did here, okay? So 100 times. 15 is 85, and then now 3 times 12 is 36. Okay. So I have 8,500 and 36, then that's exactly okay. 8,536. Okay. So that's why behind this computation, actually, uh, I just wrote this way, but uh, what's really going on is a foil. And um, you see that this is exactly the same idea. Okay? The, what I did is I viewing eight and six this way here, okay? and then I apply the foil. So ten squared minus. Um, Ten times four minus two times ten plus two times four here. Okay. Then here ten. Ten minus four minus two. So so this is this is how how officially we just write the mathematics, but uh, this finger, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then uh, so exactly the the way I compute this four is is ten minus four minus two. Yeah. Okay. So I'm I just computing this one just using finger, and then the rest the two times four. Okay. So that's coming from. Uh, uh, this two times four, right? So, so that's how you know this works. Thank you.